Welcome, Taurus. It's your singles read for November. This is the Meet the Soulmate read using the ethereal visions, illuminated tarot to give it on. Um, pre shuffle, but I'll put a little energy on them. This is uh, always positive read because it simply asks the question who's the right one for you? So it's not likely to be triggery. If you see a Three of Swords, no one's breaking up with you. It's, uh, we're going to look at aspects of their personality, behavior, uh, life history, pick up on stories they might tell, uh, pick up on the astrology. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Taurus. I'm sorry I'm late. Normally Monday is Aries, Thor's Day, but I've been uh, playing catch up and physically hammered one thing after another. So kind of decided the way I'm going to deal with it is I'm going to catch up as much as I feel like I can because it's terror. I can't really just keep going. Um, I feel good, so I know I'm going to be, I, I kind of like to run on schedule, I'm sad, but I'm in, in my 10th house, uh, north node still, energy, and um, I want to finally be that Capricorn that I never was, be structured, damn it, and it really bugs me, so, but it's good to let go a little bit, even though I'm sorry, we're late a day, uh, but here we go, it's going to look at their emotional, intellectual, love and sexual and we're called lifestyle core values areas with eight cards two cards for each remember this is the one that's right for you four swords this is in their emotional position over the knight of pentacles interesting let me keep going look at the intellectual we have the emperor very strong of course and that's in the intellectual position with the fool. Why wow, about a combination? I'm kind of like on my mind doing things. I just kind of hurt my neck. It's like my head went around in a circle. When I saw that, I was like, what do they do? They do something really different. I mean, because of their minds really different. Their minds really different. <laughs> I says, what is that? getting an extreme energy off of this four of swords. I think your person, uh, they were born remembering past lives. I've never had I've done a lot of these reads have never gone here. I'm just getting it so strong because I'm, I'm like, what's going on with this person? This is different. Different. And, and I think with the Knight of Pentacles under the four of swords, um, and it's looking back away from the reading too to the past um, it's like holding on to this and honoring it so this would be a person I'm sorry for the lingo is it a crystal child where they're just born like with enlightenment and they keep it now a lot of children remember things and then when the uh, seven years old comes along and they're about they, they tend to forget about it right and the soft spot heals over and but this is someone that would have been born like somehow intact um, I think like they would tell you a story, uh, their story, um, they probably learned to read at an incredibly early age. Um, this uh, energy here of a savant, you know. Um, so we're getting pretty specific. It's Aries, son. I mean, Emperor. Um, and it's strong. First house, Aries, son, I'm going to say. First house, Aries, Sun, puts Gemini in the third. If, well, if it's an Aries rising. Hmm. I'm thinking Gemini, Moon. You know, and a Gemini, Moon is pretty flighty. Um, really wants to not settle down. Has, and... This really serves them with the fool here, but the emperor like anchoring it, this uh, powerful sun energy. Like, I'm trying to think of what the four of swords is. So, it, this person was born like knowing who and what they are. They won't like tell you they I spent like me, <laughs> their, their life looking for yourself and who am I and what's it all about, Alfie. I don't really think they had that, man. That's really different. Um, they spent their time 
um, it looks like someone that to me that in childhood would have deliberately kind of cloistered themselves off um, but they would have done it in a very strong way too they wouldn't have been like a weak person that was sickly you know they I mean if you kind of look at how haughty kind of the nose up with the emperor here um, they had a way of maybe separating themselves from others as children and my guess is with this person the way this Gemini moon works They know how to push buttons. They know how to say just the right thing, not in a bad way, just to make things happen. Like they may know what to say in a job interview, may know what to say in a book, in a uh, you know a speech they're giving. Um, they have a, like a talent with that, and they know how to say the right thing to uh, have their emperor effect. You know, when the emperor speaks, I mean people, people are going to listen. Usually. I read that too. I would not be surprised if Mercury was a conjunct the, imp, the uh, Sun in their natal too. So you might have a Mercury and Sun conjunction in the first house and um, this would make it them and Aries rising too. So um, um, be like a super Aries here towards <laughs> really is what I call them. As an astrologer I use that word. My best friend is like, you always say well you are a super Virgo. I told him once I said I know you're not that in astrology. Just look up Virgo and understand that, and you got most of it. Because <laughs> everything's in Virgo. So Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this is their sexual nature and their love nature. Mostly going to read the love nature there, and the hair font coming in with Taurus, Mars down here. And um, it's probably going to be a Taurus, Venus, and a Taurus, Mars. Because I'll take a, a Taurus Venus for the Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. So you have some very strong energy here too with this person. Um, this person basically, uh, and it goes all the way back to this, is in the kind of the unconscious position in the emotional aspect. This Knight of Pentacles looking back into their past lives, into their childhood, into their... Um, I see in astrology their cancer energy being very grounded and so they they are not going to change your mind like likely about anything important because they probably really solid I mean the emperor and the hair font imagine they're together you know in this one person um, you talk about like a kind of absolute be the absolute authority on earth so they may see themselves, I'm not saying they are, they may kind of see themselves a little bit in that light. But I think this person would have an amazing uh, presence, an amazing uh, fiery presence that is light actually, uh, the Gemini moon and uh, sociable and, and, and fun and quirky as hell, quirky as hell is the word quirky and, and just witty, quirky shit just comes out of their mouth a lot and it's nothing it's just fun and but they would be known for this you would notice it it's like who says that they're gonna say something like that. you know um, they might throw in some reference to Tesla along with a mathematical formula <laughs> and a common sitcom reference from television or Netflix or something you see now, this is in their core values and lifestyle. We're looking at the Hermit Virgo energy. I don't usually pick up there. That would be their sixth house, their uh, first house Aries. Six of Wands. Wow. A hermit over the Six of Wands. Boy, that tells a story. If you, here's what I'm looking at you got the Four Swords over the Knight of Pentacles, and now you've got, and that's an uh, energy of healing, being cloistered, being cut, shut away. You know the story you, you go into your coffin as a soldier and you stay there overnight or something to show how lucky you were and give honor to the men that didn't come back with you but now you have in this position the hermit being cloistered away deliberately um, this is very good energy very balanced for this person so and the hermits facing uh, their Venus here in Taurus uh, where Venus is really it's an exalted it's perfect Venus it's heaven on earth uh, Taurus, in my opinion, 
Um, so uh, it's like they're paying homage to this, it, their uh, desire and love nature uh, with their energy of their core values. Um, so they would have very strong and internal core values and what they would value um, would not be uh, typically or necessarily at all uh, what the values of a society are. It would be something internal um, that they would uh, come to a conclusion as to value, an internal value. And the Six of Wands, again this fire energy popping up. Um, They're not someone with the fool and the six of wands. They're not someone that's afraid to take action. But they, but when they take action, it's like this is kind of the things they say. What I mean by they could put somebody off earlier, it's like somebody's annoying them. They know just the right thing to say to sort of like, I don't know, humiliate them a little bit or just make them realize how stupid what they said really was without making it too obvious. But enough to where it kind of makes them slow down a minute a conversation to move on so they have an ability in the same way probably in life decisions of uh, job decisions um, I'd be interested to see that if they didn't have a story uh, around college days and thereafter and kind of what kind of work they ended up doing because this could be someone that does research it could be doing scientific research um, something they do on their own uh, I get the feeling with the Six of Wands that this person would be well known within their field. It'd be uh, not the kind of well known. If, if you looked them up on uh, on Google, uh, you know, they would be there, at, you know, in terms of uh, some accolades around their field of uh, expertise. So I think we got something here, guys. Um, let me know. Uh, this is a purely uh, predictive read. The way I see it, this wouldn't be someone that's around you. You know, we've cleared the airport, and the airplane's been circling, waiting, circling, waiting. Now you're super single, totally single. They're coming down, here they are. You believe in tarot, keep an eye out, and just hit me back up a week from now. You know, um, this November read. Hit me up. Could be any time this month. Could be a big month. It's rolling. Um, and say, hey, Dave, I think I found this person. All right? Thank you, guys.